This is D Jackson, your hustling homie, your platform partner. Yes, I'm all about making things happen. And today we're going to talk to the public speakers. If you are a presenter, if you work for, let's say, a company and you're in sales and you're constantly presenting in front of people, or let's say you're a Toastmaster, it doesn't matter if it's a small group, a large group, uh, you're an advanced speaker, beginner speaker, I want to share with you some specific tip that I think that will really help you out. So first, let's talk about power of internalizing a speech versus memorizing a speech i see so many presenters who just memorize speeches what i'm saying is for example i i've seen people who let's say you you work for an insurance company and you got this five minute presentation they want you to read this script and say hey read the script exactly like this or or say the script exactly like this or you get a speech and you say okay i i got at these are exactly and you know it almost word for word and in fact, it gets to the point where you even have like, let's say, some gestures that you do, some hand movements. And now you get to the point where you know that speech so much, it, it looks choreographed. And this, I was looking at a speaker today. I was at this to I was at a Toastmaster meeting, and the guy, it's like every he was giving us, he was telling a story. It was a five to seven minute speech, and he said, but it was a story about his life when he, you know, got drunk for the first time. Really good speech, really good story. But what was interesting as he's delivering the speech, it you, the whole time it was great information, but he looked so bored as he was doing it. He was monotone and every visual he gave or description, he would do like this gesture, this hand movement. And he was talking about, yeah, I was outside and you know, there were no trees in the sky. And he put his hands up as if he was reaching for some trees. And I looked to my and I thought to myself, well, why is he doing a hand gesture for everything he says? Why, you know, why is he reaching for trees? Like that, that wasn't even realistic. But I, I, I realized the whole speech, he was just kind of choreographed. It, it was it, it, it almost felt it didn't feel genuine. It didn't feel like he was in the moment. It didn't feel like authentic at all. And one of the most powerful things that you can do is be authentic, right? You don't have to be perfect with your presentations and making sure that everything, you know, every movement is exactly right. You never want to come off like that because people then feel like, you know, you're not authentic. So the key is to internalize your speech. So you have to do things for example, to, to make that speech seem fresh to you. So every time you give it, you want to feel like it's the first time you gave it. Even if a person heard that speech five times, they should feel like they're hearing it for the first time or they're hearing it in a new way where every time is something funny and interesting, you know, as you all. And so you always want to get audience reactions. That's one really important thing is that when you give in this speech, even if it's a sales presentation or you just like giving people a lot of information, Listen to see if people are laughing, if people are engaged in, or even if they're not laughing, if they're making some type of response or noise. Look at what those responses are. Record yourself on video, right? Watch the video. Look at yourself and see how you like the video. If you can understand what you're talking about, um, even if you turn the volume off, look at your body language. Does it look mundane? Does it look choreographed? Right? This is all important things. Uh, also, when you give that speech and you're giving it, let's say, in front of, you know, different groups or in front of the same group, see if you can get them to respond differently, even though they've heard it once or, tw or twice, should I say, or three times. So these are important things you can do in terms of practice. But it's also important to not overly practice your speech because sometimes it's great to take a break. Right. I know competitive speakers that practice and do their speech every single day. Sometimes you need to take a break, get away from the speech so that way it doesn't come off choreographed. So it comes so it feels fresh. So it's very, very important, family, that you that you that you're present, that you use when you give speech. Sometimes use specific details and words about something that's going on right there in the moment. And don't be overly dynamic, you know, because if you're too dynamic, then, you know, if you're too dramatic, that's not going to look authentic either. So have a conversation with people. Even if you gave this talk millions of times, act like it's brand new, it's fresh. Have a conversation. Make sure it applies to that person that you're speaking to. And have fun. And don't be afraid if it goes bad. You're very, very smart. You just made a great decision by investing in yourself and watching videos just like this. So I want you to imagine yourself, you're giving, uh, you're communicating in front of a large group of people. Everybody stands up, they give you a round of applause. Also, imagine yourself, you just gave another talk, somebody walks up to you, give you a check. 
right? And say thank you for impacting and helping my life. This will happen and this will continue to happen. What I want you to do now is I want you to subscribe to this page. You can get much more free content where you're going to learn more about communication skills. Uh, you're going to learn more about how to get paid with communicating, how to be able to um, just advance your career and get more out of life in general. Also, if you want to get the, uh, the best exclusive opportunity, what you want to do is you want to join our website, join our actual our online school where we go in depth where we really break down our speaking courses, our communication courses, and all of our products. So I just want you to continue investing in yourself and do you. You know, I'm your platform partner, D. Jackson, all about making things happen, and I can't wait to see you on that stage doing your thing. So keep doing what you do, and I'm proud of you. I'm excited. Let's go.